the big news this year in Texas uh, was the weather and fire. So uh, we had actually uh, the one-year drought of record. Well, on the preserve itself, I think we had about 1,100 acres of wetland, freshwater wetland normally. Uh, this year we were down to about 200 acres of freshwater wetland, and it wasn't necessarily uh, in the best condition. You know, one of the big uh, news items of late has been the whooping cranes. They, they actually did the first census along the coast. Roughly about two-thirds of them uh, were actually uh, discovered during that census. Uh, they know they have some whooping cranes that are actually overwintering uh, now uh, at Granger Lake, which is uh, east of uh, Austin. Uh, those birds actually did make it to the coast, decided uh, things weren't good, and headed back up to Granger. Uh, and they also have some whooping cranes that are wintering as far north as Nebraska, uh, which is v very unusual. Um, and there's a whole a bunch of cranes, uh, you know, roughly about a third of the known population that have not yet been accounted for. There's some interesting reports where we have maybe, uh, you know, some of the waterfowl, because it's been mild uh, to the north of Texas, uh, that actually may be hanging out up, up there. Uh, we've had some interesting reports, but we have some ducks uh, that have gone unusually far south. Uh, so there's uh, the country of Belize uh, has apparently had uh, a bunch of new records of different uh, species of waterfowl that they've never seen before. So normally we don't think about that, but you get birds scattering all over the place looking for, for habitat right now.